Hi everyone, it's Suzette, and I've got a fun Halloween journal to show you today. Um, here is the front with this very large full moon, the little bats and the little moth here. And then I've got what I call my ribbon uh, ponytail with all these different uh, black and orange ribbons. And then this little glass bead of a skeleton head, kind of cool. And then here in the front, we have just writing paper. And I've got grungy. Um, it's a brown envelope, but it feels like a paper bag. But it is a brown envelope, and I've just cut off the end. And then we've got a little pocket here with this card. And then back here is some cheesecloth and a little bit of layering there. And then with this opening, I have this large journaling card, Edgar Allan Poe, Stonehead there. And a little bit of stamping and some sewing. And then here we've got two pockets with a tuck spot. And then I've got a little bit of ribbon here with some rivets. And then I've layered these little things. This is a little uh, rub on crow and some numbers. Um, and then here's a little tag, and then this tag in this pocket, and then here I've got this little deceased toe tag. And then on this side, I've got this long journaling card, little tuck spot here. And then you'll see throughout that there's some spooky, there's some fun, a little bit of everything here for what you would think of Halloween. Um, and then you flip this open, and this is like a little mini journal here. I believe there's about 20, ends up being about 20 pages here. And then on this side, you've got a little belly band with this fun journaling card. And then here I've just made this a little tuck spot this and this has a little belly band as well you could even decorate that further put a scary word some favorite numbers and then I've got some little faux rivets there oops oops going a couple of pages ahead of me there I got this little bat pocket with this cold journaling card with this eyelet there in the little tag holder the black crow and on this side I've made this little tuck spot with some more writing paper I'll just set that there and then obviously you could write over that as well and then here's two little side pockets with these cute little spiders that I've named mischief and mayhem Some more Edgar Allan Poe themed paper. And again, all these lighter colors would be fun to write over. You could even write over that one as well. I didn't want to cover it up because then you wouldn't be able to really see the skeletons there. And then on this side, we've I've got made this a little tuck spot with this journaling card. And then there's a little bit of layering there. And then I've made a little pocket, side pocket there on that. So you could journal on the back of the this card and on this card again more writing paper this ended up being kind of fun this is probably my hardest with this green and orange paper for me to decorate and come up with a theme um, but i like the way this one and the next couple of pages are the other side of this turned out so you've got this little black cat and i've got a little pocket with some of these little goodies in there and then here, there's three pockets here. This front pocket has some little tickets that I made. And then here's some more goodies. And then this large, or not large, this little tag in the back. It says magic spells. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a little witch there brewing up something. And then here's the center of the first signature. And this is all for writing. And then here I've got a pocket, again with that um, that orange and green paper. Again, I had so much fun. I ended up, this is probably one of my favorite pages. 
Here's a little postcard and then a little ticket that I made a pocket there with these little mini tickets. And then here I've got this belly band again with some more of that ribbon with rivets on it. And then I this card and then back here is a pocket that holds this and this is one, two, three, four, five layers of paper there. And then I've got these little faux rivets. Isn't that kind of fun? Like I said, I ended up really liking how this turned out. And this is all stamping back here. And if you don't want to put that in the belly band, you can always just put that over here as well. And then just more writing paper. This is a page that you could write on or further decorate yourself. This guy's really cool. Um, I've got the school with the orange paper behind it. And then um, if you guys can see that trim around the edge of it, it's kind of fun. And then I've just tucked in a little another little postcard but this is a full belly band here more lighter colored paper for you to write on and then here I made a little tuck spot with these little specimen jars I guess with the little mini school heads in there and then I've just added another one here in the corner more of that spooky paper this one's kind of fun too, where I've made this an open belly band where you flip, and then this has a little tuck spot with that cute little guy in there. And then behind the belly band is this journaling card with some stickers. And then that way you don't see really see the skeleton. The idea is behind it, and then it goes together there and on this side some more of that black paper I've made a little pocket here with this little faux um, they look like rhinestones but they're really not and they kind of remind me with the little legs sticking out little spiders and then I put this tag in there I don't know if you guys can see that there's a very light pattern of a, a spider web there and then I just put that tucked in that paper and then back here, I've just made a little flip with adding some more paper. And all this paper kind of goes with that purple flower themed paper. Again, some more, mo more of those moths. And this, pa this page, I'd like to the darkness of it. Um, but again, more of those rivets. This is just brown with the gold rivets though. And then these are pockets that hold these cards. And they're just little matching, little matching cards. I left them blank for you to decorate. And then also to put a word, a number, whatever you want in there. I'll leave these here. And then this is the other side of that um, brown envelope. Again, I just added stenciling. I just gessoed it. And then I have this one shut with a ribbon. I'm going to take this one out a little bit. And then I have this cute little book of spells. And this is just for you. It's blank for you to write in. And um, I believe there's 60 book pages in that. And then on this side, another pocket. We've got some more toe tags. These ones I've added a little bit of stamping and the physician's signature on it. And then this is the beginning of the second signature. Um, I do have, this is a side pocket here with this journaling card. And then this journaling card, I just made a little tuck spot right there. That little ticket. Obviously you could write on the back there. And then I wanted to, I had a lot of fun. Um, I haven't really played with the uh, Distress Oxide uh, ink. And this paper started out this this light and then I just kept adding different colors and mixing them and letting it dry so it turned out I love that grungy look 
And then up here, I just wanted to bring your attention. There's two brads here. Um, so when we flip to the other side, you'll see this is that same paper. I've just made a flap out of it. And there's a little bit of um, like fluffy eyelash ribbon right here. That cute little witch. And then this is a flap that you flip up. There's some writing paper here. And then this is a notepad. So those brads are here. You'll see the back of the brads. So when you finish um, with this paper, you can just, you know, open these up and then refill the paper. And then here's, again, me just playing around with that Distrax Oxide paint and some stamping. And then on this side, I just, because of the witch, the bewitched, and added a little bit of pattern on the edge here. And then again, for you to write on. And then I made this a little tuck spot with these cute little tickets. And then here's a crow. And then I just wanted to add a little bit of interest. So with that leftover paper, I made a little tuck spot. And then this one says unusual. There's another one you'll see um, that I'll point to your attention um, later in the other side. But this is like a little shelf of all little potions and stuff with this little journaling card. Thought it was cute, made it look like she was standing behind the little shelf there. And then here I just added this little card. Um, you could write on it just to let you know that there's a that is a little tuck spot. And then you open this up, and there's a little po two sided pocket here. And I've just added another one of those crow postcards. And obviously, you could write on that. And then some more Halloween themed writing paper. This is kind of grungy. I liked it, so I've added it in here. And then here, um, it's a half of a full moon with some more of those moths. And then some more writing area here. Could write over that as well. You see the crow in the background. And then here, this is... Um, skeleton kind of thin see-through material that I made a little pocket out of and added this big large journaling card on there and that purple kind of goes with this page and then I left this for you guys to decorate or you literally you could just write on it this one would be fun with one of those silver um, or white uh, pens that would show up really well and then here, let me take this out. This is the center of the second signature with the purple bat in the background and this very misty woman walking and some of the Halloween potions and that lady there. She could be a witch. And then this is some kind of faux grungy magical herbs and it has um, the different herbs that you would do for fertility, culinary, right? And then you could write on the back of that. And then here's the other half of that um, full moon. And I made it a little tuck spot or a little side pocket with this journaling card. I love that black paper. Obviously, I used it a lot in here. And again, more writing area. This is the um, left side of a moth. And then you flip it over and there's the right side of the moth. And then again, just some more grungy writing paper. Again, more of that full moon paper. And I've just made this a little flap and added some cute little circles here. Just added a little, another little flap there. And then here's a crow and I've just added some extra paper. So that's use him as a, a little pull out to pull that paper out right on both sides. And then here is another belly band that I've added these cute little journaling cards. 
little spider webs. There's more white and textures kind of in the background. It makes it look like it's texture. It's not, but it's very cool paper close up. And then again, more of just an area for you to write on. Here's the other side of that text spot. So the, the other one said unusual. This one says creature. And then this one is a drawing of a crow. And then here, another pocket, cute little toad there, appropriate. And then another toe tag, and then this cute little pirate dude. And then again, the back of that, um, my paper that I made playing around with the, uh, trying to make it grungy with the Distress Oxide inks and stamping. And then on this side, a belly band, again, with a, maybe a witch's shelf of all her little potions and collections to make, um, all, to make magic potions or spells. And then this is a truth spell. And the idea is you'd write on the back of that. And then here's the back. Again, that orange uh, font behind the black crinkly paper, and then again the ribbon ponytail, and we're back to the front. If you liked it for this or if I gave you any inspiration, please give it a thumbs up, and the link for where it's for sale on, in my Etsy shop will be in the description. Just click on more. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.